Welcome to our video tutorial. This time we want to present you the construction area. The Pecan Planner Pro now includes several tools for processing 2D and 3D elements. You can subtract objects from each other, merge them or form the intersection. The so-called Follow Me tool allows the extrusion of a two-dimensional shape along any path. Please note that the operations mentioned only work with objects which are drawn with the drawing elements in Pecan Planner. In this video we show you how to use these new functions properly. First of all, please start the Pecan Planner. You will now find the construction area in the Edit tab between the tools and the material area. Let's start with the Subtract tool. To execute a subtract command useful, please make sure that the 2D or 3D drawing elements have common edges or penetrate each other. Here you can see a sphere and a cone that penetrate each other. First select the element from which the other body should be subtracted. Then click the subtract button. Now select the item which should be deducted from the first element. As you can see, the overlapping part of the second object was subtracted from the first one. Now the first object is a truncated cone. The merge tool combines two or more elements that intersect each other to a single object. For demonstration purposes, we return to the sphere and the cone. If more than one object is selected, the button Merge will be displayed in the menu. By clicking on it, you combine the individual objects to a single body. This united body has just one color. When merging objects with different colors or materials, only one color is applied to the final object. Please note that this item cannot be demerged in the original objects with the ungroup command. If you ungroup the object, the body will break into separate lines and surfaces. If you want to return to the original objects, you can use the undo command. Use the Intersect tool to select those parts of both objects that permeate each other. This means that the units remain which the bodies had together. Pick two or more objects that intersect each other. Now you can use the button Intersect in the construction area. As a result, concurrent volume fractions of the body remain. All protruding areas and volumes were removed. The Follow Me tool is used for the extrusion of 2D drawing elements along a path. It allows, for example, to create angled 3D elements or to frame an object with another shape. Using the drawing elements, first draw a path along which you would like to extrude. Please make sure that the option Filled is disabled in the drawing elements. Filled primitives cannot be used as a path. As a path you can use a polyline, a rectangle, an arc of circle or a polygon. Next draw the 2D element to be extruded. Here it may be a polygon, a rectangle or a circle. Select the element to be extruded along the path. In the construction area click on the follow me button. With one click you can set a reference point. This is the point at which the shape is maintained during the operation. You can use a vertex of the 2D element for example. If you want to spin the 2D shape on the path around the reference point, move your mouse over the path and open the context menu with a right click. There you select the command rotate and orientate the 2D object as desired. Next, you define the starting point of the extrusion. This point must be on the drawing element, which is intended to serve as a path. You can now use the mouse to lead the form along the path. As you can see, a three-dimensional object has been created. With another click, you determine the end point of the extrusion. Take advantage of the construction tools to create your individual 2D and 3D objects. Thank you for your attention.